PRC 27 is a NERC reliability standard that is in effect as of April 2021. This standard requires utilities to ensure that coordination is maintained within protection systems at best levels. Due to the number of coordination studies this may involve, automation-assisted simulation capabilities such as those offered by Aspen One Liner have become the preferred approach for complying with PRC 27 requirements. Here on the Arizona Rusins line, we see the Zone 1 phase distance element operate instantaneously for a close-in fall on the Arizona side. However, on the adjacent line, we see that a Zone 2 element also operates instantaneously, showing a coordination issue for the Nevada relay element. One-liner simulation capabilities can apply multiple faults per line under different contingency conditions in an automated manner, greatly reducing the need for manual execution of coordination studies. Although these coordination studies are typically given focus when considering PRC 27, the standard also requires consideration of other crucial aspects such as detailed tracking, particularly if the bus fault current comparison option is selected. A typical PRC 27 evaluation process includes the following steps. Assuming option two of requirement two, the bus fault current comparison option has been selected. First, a bus fault current study is performed at all applicable buses, which can be very quickly and easily done by Aspen One Liner. These bus fault currents are then compared against a previously established baseline. For cases of deviation 15% or greater from the baseline, coordination needs to be checked for any BES elements connected to the given bus. Thus, the bus fault current comparison is used to define the scope of the coordination studies. Following the coordination study, the results must be analyzed and mitigation measures proposed for any issues found. Finally, documentation is needed to show compliance with the requirements of the PRC 27 standard. As previously mentioned, Aspen One Liner simulation capabilities are well suited for performing the coordination study and obtaining bus fault currents. However, properly tracking compliance progress and in maintaining the baseline performing the fault current comparison and determining scope of studies and analyzing and reporting the coordination results are all better suited for external applications. The new Aspen API included with release version 15 enables the integration of Aspen's powerful simulation and system model capabilities with these external applications, providing a complete solution for PRC 27 compliance from start to finish. This external application connects to Aspen OneLiner to obtain system data, fault data, and to run protection studies. Starting with the PRC-027 process module and selecting option 2, we see a list of all applicable buses from the Aspen One Liner model with the recorded fault current values along with the date of record. We have manually edited the baseline for the Arizona bus to force a deviation of greater than 15% for this demonstration. Going to the next screen, a bus fault current comparison can be run to obtain fault current values directly from Aspen One Liner through the API. An output file is generated containing the bus fault current comparison and highlighting the Arizona bus, which clearly has a deviation of greater than 15% from baseline. The application also determines the required scope of coordination studies according to the fault current comparison results. In this case, two lines will be studied due to the greater than 15% deviation at the Arizona bus. The application also generates the support files to automatically select these two lines for study. Moving to the Wide Area Protection Coordination module, we can load in these support files and see these two lines selected in the list. We can then start the coordination studies which take advantage of one-liner simulation capabilities. The commands including which lines to study, as well as the study parameters, are sent to Aspen through the new API. Following the very fast completion of the studies, the results are sent back to the application which performs some post-processing to better highlight any potential coordination issues. This particular example is for the Arizona Rusins line. This output summarizes all potential issues associated with each device for this particular line study. 
In this example, a device on the adjacent line, a phase distance element at Nevada, misoperates for both system normal and contingency conditions. If we go to the details, we see that this operates for close and faults on the Arizona side almost instantaneously. This suggests a zone one overreach or an incorrectly set zone two timer. And we see that this occurs for three fault cases. Normally, the user would need to manually review the entire output from one liner to determine that three cases pertain to the same element. But the summarization presented here shows this information in an easy to read manner. Clicking on one of the cases brings us to the raw output from Aspen one liner for that case. Here we see that this miscoordination is due to an improperly set zone two timer. Going back to the summary screen, we can enter a mitigating action for each of these identified issues. For phase distance misoperation, we'll enter increase zone two timer to 0.4 seconds. For the second entry, which shows a ground overcurrent CTI violation, we'll enter enable directionality for ground TOC. Now with the results of the coordination study reviewed, we can generate the reports to show proof of compliance. Going back to the PRC 027 module in the compliance summary screen, we will select the latest fault study we ran, as well as the coordination study output files we just reviewed. The output reports are generated on a per bus basis, in this case for Arizona. This report shows the bus fault current comparison that initiated the studies the lines connected to this bus, and the coordination review status for each study line. Since we filled in mitigating actions for the Arizona Rusins line, it has been marked as complete. The second line, which we did not review, still shows as incomplete. Clicking on the link brings us to the summary of issues on that study line. We see the MIS operation and CTI violation reported in the study results, as well as our mitigating actions. Through this bus report, as well as other support documentation, evidence of compliance with PRC 27 requirements can be shown. In this demonstration, we have seen that Aspen One Liner is a crucial part of the PRC 27 evaluation process, enabling coordination studies to be more easily performed across an entire system. The new API allows for effective integration of OneLiner with external applications, making possible a full solution for NERC PRC 27 compliance from start to finish.